So Guideline Host is an app for a smartphone or tablet um, and it's designed to host local guidelines, standard treatment guidelines, essential medicines lists, protocols or other information that uh, health practitioners might need at the point of care. Um, and it is uh, an app that can be used on either Apple or Android device. It's free to download for users and once it's uh, downloaded it's also available completely offline. Um, so we really wanted to make a tool that uh, is supportive for health practitioners, so doctors, nurses, pharmacists uh, or other health practitioners at the point of care when they're making decisions about the best treatments for their patients. So far we've developed an app for two countries so Fiji and Solomon Islands. Both the apps were launched in April last year and at the beginning there were two guidelines on the Solomon Islands app plus the essential medicines list and one guideline and an essential medicines list on the Fiji app. Um, since then, it's been almost a year, we've had uh, over a thousand downloads of the Fiji Guideline Host app, so about 1,200 in total and about 330 downloads in, of the Solomon Islands app. We've had a really great feedback, so as well as that sort of really positive response uh, in terms of health practitioners seeing the benefit and downloading the app. Um, we've uh, had a lot of feedback in terms of adding new guidelines, both from the users and also from people who've developed guidelines have uh, come to us and asked us to add their guidelines to our app. So in January this year, we added uh, 11 new guidelines to the Solomon Islands app and nine new guidelines to the Fiji guideline host app. Um, which we think is going to make it even more beneficial for users because now there's uh, information across a variety of uh, clinical areas. Um, we did some surveys as well um, of users of the app uh, and in Solomon Islands for example six months after launching we went to a medical education session at the National Referral Hospital and 68% of people there already had the app downloaded and 65% of those people said that they used it every day. So we really think that our health practitioners in Solomon Islands and Fiji are getting on board and using the app. So where we're at now is uh, we're hoping to develop more country apps um, in Pacific Island countries. So we're really uh, inviting countries to uh, have a look at the app and consider whether it will be a useful tool for their health practitioners in their country. I think you have partially answered the next question, but I'm still going to ask you. So what do you think is the value of this app to the region? Yeah, I think there's a few different uh, advantages to the app, the way we see it. So we think it makes guidelines and other information more accessible for health practitioners at the point of care. So when they're treating patients, rather than trying to find a book or a document somewhere, when they're needing to find that information, it's right there in their pocket on the app. We also think it's really valuable for ministries of health or the bodies that are developing these guidelines because it's going to be more, uh, it's going to be easier for them to distribute uh, guidelines. Uh, it's also more cost effective, so although there's a cost associated with developing the app, it's certainly a lot less than printing large numbers of guidelines or printed copies of books. And we also think it's going to be very valuable in terms of um, I guess the overall uh, improvement of adherence to guideline recommendations as well. So access is obviously uh, a barrier to people being able to adhere to those recommendations. Um, so the more access there is, uh, hopefully the more people will utilise the guidelines and that has all sorts of benefits including um, a better overall quality of care uh, and also improving essential medicines availability by having more predictable demand.